Hey friends! So excited you want to join me on this trip. I'm gonna show you how I implemented the art of mindful traveling into my life. It is the beginning of June 2022 and we are leaving at 4 a.m. to go to South Croatia by car. It took us 13 hours to arrive in the city of Split, where we had our dinner and walked around a little bit, seeing the sights. Split is a gorgeous and interesting city, as it was originally built as a palace for the Roman Emperor Diocletian. 400 before Christ. As his palace was so huge, they could build the old city within its walls in medieval times. Diocletian also had some Sphinx statues transported from Egypt to Split to decorate his palace. One of the Sphinx statues is still fully intact and sits on the central square of the old city. The Sphinx itself is super old. It's from the 15th to the 16th century before Christ, as it's an ancient Egyptian artwork. On the next day our car ferry left from Split to go to the island of Huar, where we're gonna spend the next two weeks. It takes about two hours to go to the island by ferry. Guys, we just arrived on the island this evening and you can see the wonderful seaside behind me. <laughs> I'm so excited for this holiday. I can't believe that we're here now and well I have an intention for this two weeks now and it is to really mindfully enjoy and really live in the present moment now because I want to have wonderful memories on this holiday later and enjoy every second of it now. So that's the mission and we are going out for dinner now. We are walking along the sea now to go to the restaurant and it is just on the other end of the village where we stay. We've already stayed in this location three times before so now it's the fourth time. Normally I love to explore new places all the time for my vacations but I always go with my parents when they come here because it is just so beautiful. It is the most beautiful and calm place you can ever imagine. I'm already at peace now <laughs> since I got out of the car and saw the seaside and everything around. It's just so gorgeous. And well, it's always so calm here. Not many tourists at all. Very few actually. And I don't want to speak too loud because I just love the calmness here. Look at this little pebble beach. <laughs> so gorgeous. No one is here. So gorgeous to walk here. <laughs> oh, it's actually not true. Over there are some people. Can you see them? <laughs> yeah. 
Well, we are always loving the locations where not many other people are, not many tourists. I also want to see the big tourist places like, I don't know, the Eiffel Tower or <laughs> the Colosseum in Rome and all these exciting big places, but I don't know. I love to discover the hidden treasures. That's my biggest passion. So, of course, I want to see all the big things and yeah, but you already know them from so many pictures. But when you find something you don't already seen a million times on pictures and discover it yourself in the wild <laughs> or in a very lonely place, I don't know, it just gives you the feeling of discovering a hidden gem, a hidden treasure. And that is a thrill, <laughs> guys. It's just my kind of holiday here. <laughs> I think I must hurry up now because my parents must already be at the restaurant. But how beautiful is it here? I can't believe it. Today is a special day because <laughs> it is raining actually a little bit. It never rained here before and I mean we stayed here four times already before so it's special. <laughs> it's also a special day because we are visiting a palace of an old poet from Croatia. He lived in the 1500s and he built this palace for himself because he was from a rich family and it also has a wonderful garden where I am now and I think here is a very special energy I don't know I think it's so calm and beautiful and you have to see yourself I don't know if I can transport this energy I feel here through the video but it is very special and inspiring. The palace of the poet has a stunning garden and this atrium where sea fish are living in a saltwater pool. So it's an old oven. Other ancient machines. And a cute little kitty chilling on some old treasure chests. the walls of his palace. This one over his toilet was the funniest. It says, as you know yourself, why are you so conceited? And this 
this one at the fish pool speaks about the finite nature of life and that you can't take anything of your mundane affluence and achievements with you when you die. It should remind you to focus on what's really important which are your internal qualities, your ability to give love and to make the world a little bit better. That is your real legacy. The palace of the poet is in the city of Stadigrad, which actually is a UNESCO World Heritage, with its typical old Dalmatian stone houses and the agricultural fields around, that were originally cultivated by the ancient Greeks. An important part of mindful traveling really is to learn about the places you visit and not rush through. It makes you appreciate everything you see on a whole new level. Otherwise, this just would be a beautiful Mediterranean looking city for me. But knowing about the history of the place, how old it is, and how rich the culture is really gives me a deep and precious experience. With all my heart and soul being full of admiration, respect and aim. Another thing is the food. Take your time to eat. You don't have to rush that on vacation. If you're not able to manage learning to eat slowly at home, try to implement it on vacation and enjoy every single bite with appreciation. Really, I am so bad at this. When I have the feeling that no one sees me, I eat so fast and with my mind being everywhere else but not by the food. It's something I want to change for a while now. But it's a habit I have since I can't remember anything. And well, these childhood habits are hard to break. Being on a mindful vacation on which I set the intention to enjoy every second helped. The intention is very important. It gives you a direction for everything you do. But in the end, the actions you take are everything. Do always check in with yourself. Does doing or thinking this goes together with my intention? That is the only question you need to ask yourself all the time to get where you want to be. So today we are in the city of Huar. Oh, I don't want to lose my hand. And it's so beautiful again. <laughs> I have the feeling that I only say beautiful, 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 beautiful over and over again. But that's how it is. And well, my whole outfit is thrifted today. So <laughs> I'm gonna show you. The city of Huar is the capital of the island of Huar, you can say. It's the main touristic point where especially a lot of Americans and other international guests stay as a part of their Croatia tour. The city is also very old. The first settlement was stated for about 1000 before Christ and especially the ancient Greeks started settling here and on the whole island 400 before Christ. We got time on our side We're in a state of home I need you on my fire I want you to know that every time you're away I long for you so much 
much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel like we got something strong? I saw you walking the line And the truth may come as a surprise That with you I feel alive You'll be the last one I think about wasn't the end of our travel, which healed my heartbreak a little bit and got me excited for the new. We visited Zagreb for the first time as a family. My dad has already been there, but for my mom and me it was a totally new place to explore. Visiting an entirely new place is the easiest way to get yourself into the present moment as you have to process everything you see, hear, smell, feel and learn. Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, is a lively city and especially at night there is that one street where all the bars and restaurants are. I think this is an incredibly great concept because everyone can sort of come together here but you can still choose from a huge variety of all the different kinds of restaurants. distinctive sites we saw in Zagreb. One is definitely the St. Marcus Church. That has the coats of arms of Croatia and the city of Zagreb on the roof. What a beautiful work of art. The second special thing is the Lotrskak Tower. I'm sorry I can't pronounce it and I didn't find a pronunciation in the internet so you can see how it's written. You get up there by Rec Railway and every day at exactly 12 o'clock 
a cannon shot gets fired of a medieval cannon there. This way the people of Zagreb know that it's noon and well it's a massive happening for the tourists. The third thing I admired was a gate that also functions as a chapel for Holy Mary. People can put their stone plates on the wall, on which they've written thank you notes to Mary for situations when she helped them. Some of the stones are quite old and some are from recent years. I think this is a wonderful way to manifest gratitude. We've already spoken about the powers of gratitude and how much bliss it brings into our lives. So you can guess how excited I was at this special place. We are in the botanical garden now in Zagreb and well, it's so wonderful here because we found shelter from the noise and the smells of the city. <laughs> it is lovely, it smells like trees and everything is, well, a little bit calmer at least. <laughs> you can still hear the noise from the city and after sightseeing in the heat it is just such a welcoming contrast. So tomorrow we are going to go home again and my intention worked out so well. <laughs> so I said in the beginning of the holiday that I want to mindfully enjoy every second of it. And well, I think it was successful. I have the feeling I did. I learned that it really works setting an intention when you really want something and well I'm gonna take that home with me and I hope I can have the habit of being mindful and in the present moment also at home because I sometimes have a hard time doing that <laughs> my mind is always somewhere else but well I got a little bit better during this holiday and it was just a wonderful wonderful time I love Zagreb, it is such a lively city, very interesting and well, let's explore a little more. Suddenly the sun disappeared, I think it's gonna rain later on. These are ginkgo trees. It is written there that it is the oldest tree in the history of the earth that is still alive, so they call it a living fossil. And it's 270 million years old. So not these three specifically, of course, <laughs> but the species is 270 million years old. It feels funny, <laughs> not as other leaves. Here comes a little summary about the art of mindful traveling. Learn about the places you visit, so you can admire and appreciate them so much more. And well, you also have some more interesting and informational stories to tell when you come home. Try to soak in every moment with appreciation. Also when you eat something. You have so much time to enjoy your food when being on vacation, so use it well and appreciate the local foods. And most importantly, set the intention to mindfully enjoy every single moment on your vacation before it starts and then always reflect on yourself every day with the question do my thoughts and actions go together with my intention? See you!
you next week, friends, with a video about my mindful daily routine in Croatia. Have a great time and see you soon.